Hi guys, I'm Blue. And welcome to my channel. We are starting Band of Brothers today. So I've decided to start this series as a sort of, I guess, tribute to what's happening in the world right now and to all the people who are fighting and um, are going through hardships. Um, and I sort of deemed this appropriate. I don't know if it is, um, but yeah, um, I know that you you guys have been suggesting it a lot and um i thought it was it was um a good time to start that series and let's see what it's about i have i don't i know it's it's going to be good because it's tom hanks and steven spielberg i think has directed it so you know pretty pretty good so far <laughs> with that information alone uh, and yeah, if you guys would like to um, see the full reactions, uh, you can check uh, my Patreon. It will be in the link in the description. Also, if you would like to get early access to my videos, you can become a member on YouTube. And if you would like to see pictures of me and other content that I put out there, you can feel free to check my Instagram out and my OnlyFans for some extra content that I'm uploading right now. There is a pretty artsy photo session that I'm currently uploading on OnlyFans. So if you would like to see what it's all about, please check it out. I would really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, I just want to say something else that um, I really hope that you guys are taking care of yourselves and your mental health in these times. Um when like the whole world is basically afraid of what's gonna happen and i don't know when this will be posted but i hope soon enough um i am uh recording it on the 28th of february so uh yeah i hope that this reaches you guys in time and that uh, you just take a few moments of every day to just look after yourself and your mental health because that is really important in times like this and yeah i hope you enjoy let's go so says, what the hell is the airborne nobody ever heard of it we came from a small small town and three fellows in that town so were, these are veterans committed suicide because they couldn't go at different time nobody put up their hands and then, i don't know what it was brought it up but the the guy giving the the speech was saying but you get paid 50 dollars a month more so that made it 100 bucks Fifty dollars. It's like putting your life at the ultimate risk for fifty extra dollars. Whenever I watch like veterans speak, like you can you can tell what they've been through by just looking in their eyes. Like their eyes just hold so much strength and pain and just so much things, you know? Like, these soldiers, they have their own community, you know? Their own society. Only a fellow soldier knows what their position is. So it is a separate society. They're not even paying attention. But I guess it's nice to have something in the background. To kill the... Silence. I mean, there's always stuff like this happening somewhere in the world. I am not acquainted with history enough to know what that means. You people are at the position of attention! Is that Ross? <laughs> when did you sew on the chevron, Sergeant Lipton? Yesterday, sir. Long enough to notice this. Revoked, sir. What? Malarkey slang for bull****, isn't it? Yes, sir. Why is he Most such a bully? Bull they got enough shit on their plates, man. Yeah, 
Ooh. I would die. My lungs could not take this. I would be spitting blood on minute five of this climb. On my command, they will pour the contents onto the ground. On the CO's order, you will upend your canteen. Now, Lieutenant, pour them. I'm so confused. Why? Private Christensen, you have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Yes, sir. What? What? It's like... The summer camps my parents used to send me to. <laughs> like, no matter how rough you're on them... Like, war is gonna be rougher than all of that bullshit, you know? Why is he doing that? Cut them some slack. Non-regulation clothing. Contraband. I'll say it again. This Cut them some slack. In his foot How in the name of God was he gonna have the strength to fight the war? Oh, but he doesn't want to give him the badge, does he? Three miles up, three miles down. They didn't even get to finish their. They have food in their. You're a washout, Private Hoogler. He did that on purpose, didn't he? What were those things? Oh, those are their parachutes. They look like jellyfish. Kind of pretty. That's so interesting. How... How the parachutes deploy. We're in the wrong position. What do you mean you're in the wrong position? The wrong position. They're right out there somewhere. Let's just get them. Sir, we have perfect cover here. Lieutenant, deploy your troops. What? 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 Dead. Then you've just been killed, along with 95% of your company. Your outfit? Easy company, 2nd Battalion, 506. Yep. Is it you? Oh. Congratulations. Get your nose out of my face. You've got to take offense because he's with you, too. Fighting over his soul. <laughs> right? The first is a prepared position. The advantages of a prepared position are that it gives you cover and control. So are they supposed to build their own... How can they smoke so much and perform such physical activities at the same time? Like everyone's constantly puffing cigarettes. There should be no fence here. Tipper! Yes, sir. Give me the map. Go into the bushes! Pecan Don't just... Floods. Get the men... Get them... Take cover behind those trees. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, you got it. You got it. Come on. All right, just this watch. What are they doing? Is there a problem, Captain Sobel? Who said that? Who broke silence? I think it's Major Horton, sir. Now you cut that fence and get this goddamn platoon on the move! Yes, sir! <laughs> He's just trying to get home. You've done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. <laughs> who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was ordered to, sir. By who? Major Horton, sir. Major Horton ordered you to cut the fence. Yes, he did. Can he not recognize that he's not there? Oh, now they're gonna get it. At 1000 hours, I followed your orders to the minute. I changed the time to 0945. No one told me, sir. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. And sent a runner. No runner found me, Captain. 
I feel like everything's happening so fast. Punishment for your offenses will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Stand before me at attention. Or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court-martial. What's the point of that? Well, we'd all better be clear of the consequences. I don't care about the consequences. John, we could be lined up against a wall and shot. I'm ready to face that. There is Every one shit. of us had better be too. I will not follow that man into combat. Me neither. I mean, yeah, fair enough. He's failed them twice now. Let's do it. He doesn't know how to navigate a map or strategic positions for that matter. It's just not safe. It would be a waste of soldiers. What about the rest of them? I bet everyone would sign. All of you NCOs have disgraced the 101st Ab on. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare, which leaves me no choice but to spare your lives. Get. Does he know who they have to answer to? Does he know him? In fact, except for the actions of a few of your non-coms, I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. What about the field exercises? Yes, Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. Uh -huh. Sir? Okay, yeah. Send him off. Away. Psh. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. Is who, who will be replacing me? Lieutenant Meehan from Baker Company, a senior. Good luck at Chilton Foley, Ed Herbert. Don't let us down now. Good. Somebody is so sour. They deserve better. All of them. Good, uh, he's gone. That looks quite elegant. Boy, she sure is a doozy. There's Parker in it. What? Hi. We will drop behind this Atlantic wall five hours before the 4th Infantry lands at Utah. Now between our assembly area... I never really and thought about all of the studying that right goes into being a soldier, Marie actually. Dumont. Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Join his brother in Italy, Henry. Killed in Monte Casino. Well, I'm sure he doesn't know. Damn. What do you think I should do? For me? I tell him. A couple of hours before we jump? I don't know. Yeah, I'd say don't. Or maybe tell him and that way he would have something to fight for. Or the anger, use it up. Depends on the person. Channel Coast is socked in with rain and fog. No jump tonight. The evasion has been postponed. We're on a 24 hour stand down. Wait, was that from the beginning or is that a new one? Oh, it is this from the is beginning. Quite a Not particularly. It's okay. I rather expected it. Now I know kind of why they're like this. It's like, can we just get it over with, please? Uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Is that him? That's him, isn't it? I'm very interested in sort of, you know, they know what they're signing up for, but it still comes as a shock when you hear that your brothers who have been sent on missions have, like, been killed. And it's interesting because, like, you know it's happening. Like, people are dying. Are these inflatable? The vests. 
Yeah, and they have to carry so much things. Damn, imagine how heavy all of this is on them. They're just stuffing them in that plane. Most of them are boys, like 20 something. So are they dropping directly into combat? So many. Like a little flock of birds. How come they're allowed to fly so close by one another? I reckon you need more distance from the planes. The eyes of the world are upon you. <sighs> yeah, they just... They're about to do the deed. And it finished off in a great note of anxiety and anticip anticipation of what's about to come. And I don't know, something's telling me that I, I hope that the next episode picks up but from where this left off. But... Also, something's telling me that a lot of new characters are going to be introduced because we haven't seen Tom Hanks yet. We haven't seen... Is Tom Hanks? Yeah, right? Um, We haven't seen a lot of the people that we're supposed to see. So, you know, perhaps there will be another story that will coincide with this one. Perhaps it will be the same story, but with new characters incorporated and... Yeah, I'm just curious to see how um, the story develops. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.